A really good friend of mine just recently asked me uh, what was my favorite time of year to photograph. And without question, I have to say that my favorite season of the year has to be spring, especially late spring. When we have those warm days, um, I could just put on a, a simple pair of sandals, pair of shorts, t-shirt, pair of sunglasses, and just camera and a lens. Hey, Walk out spring. my door and just take huh? some lovely images. That has to be my favorite time of year. I have to say that my favorite season of the year has to be winter. I just love those cold, crisp days when you have those blue skies and you get up early in the morning and you're surrounded with pristine snow, the sun rising and unblemished snow, no tracks, has to be the best time of year. I just love putting on those really heavy winter boots and my expedition gloves and that expedition parker and freezing my ass off. In all honesty, I, uh, I don't have a particular favorite season of the year to photograph. I, uh, I am quite partial to spring though and autumn and when the conditions present themselves like this, uh, winter. Uh, I don't mind freezing my uh, bottom off as long as the uh, conditions warrant freezing it off. If the conditions are good for photography then uh, I certainly don't mind getting cold and uncomfortable. So I'm here walking through the parking lot of probably my one of my favorite winter shooting locations and that's Mount Seymour Provincial Park. Now I did a video quite a number of years ago now on Mount Seymour and that can be viewed up here or maybe here, I'll stick with a link to it. That looks like the conditions could be really good or a dud. The uh, whew, amount of breath, you can tell I haven't done anything for a while, god so I'm out of shape. That's what sitting behind a computer does to you. So, uh, clouds are moving in a bit, so I guess the next storm is on its way. Hopefully, it'll hold off until we get to the summit and get some nice light. I hope it holds off. Could be really good. Gotta put the effort in though, I guess. <laughs> That's one way to come down. <laughs> big one. Oh, he's checking out. Well I made it to the first pump or the summit or one of the summits. I feel like playing that uh, Rocky song. How does it go? A, a spot that hasn't had tons of tracks put over it. I was going to hike to the uh, the next summit over here, uh, but I don't think I have enough time. So I'll probably go down down here somewhere. I've taken lots of shots. So you can see the, uh, the the shoulder there with clouds kind of surrounding it. That's called Dog Mountain. Uh, these are pretty nice conditions, so hopefully we'll get some, some really good light. So we have lots of clouds moving in here, and then over here, it's pretty clear. You can 
see how rugged the, uh, the back country is there. Up and down, up and down. Over here looks quite nice too. There's some, uh, some nice clouds hanging around. And then in the valley beyond, I don't know if you can see it, probably not, it's too small, but that's uh, Mount Baker over there. And sometimes on a really clear day, you can see uh, Mount Rainier. And what's the other one? Um, Mount Adams, that might be too far. I know you can see Mount Shuxkin, Mount Slessy, uh, all the Cascades. It's quite impressive. Hopefully you can hear me through this. So, get a telephoto lens on these peaks and this, uh, these clouds here. I think I'm going to do a pano. I'm going to try and hurry up before, he, before the light goes. But, uh, that's the plan anyway. cold there in the wind so I'm gonna move down a little bit it's starting to get a bit dark so uh, just move that around a bit so I'm gonna go down this hill here and there's another ridge and then uh, hopefully I'm, I'm wipe out ah, just gorgeous the moon's out To uh, hike down in the moonlight, which is a, always a fun thing to do. Ooh. The clouds are just amazing. I think I got some good shots. I, uh, and if I didn't, then there's something wrong with me. It's just hard to function when it's cold, you know? I, uh, I was going to use an ND filter, uh, my uh, big stopper, uh, to try and smooth out the, the clouds in the valley there. But uh, I just couldn't be bothered to <laughs> fiddle with it. <laughs> my hands were cold. Almost at this ridge here. It's pretty tracks out, but I so I what I've been doing is most of my shots have been with a telephoto, not too many wide angle shots. God, it's 
amazing. I can see the city of Vancouver, Lionsgate Bridge and the lights. So we'll just keep walking to this ridge here. edge there's a bit of a there's a rack here okay this looks good okay all right i'm gonna turn this off for a bit and uh set myself up